Well, Kevin, while there's still several incidents of violence, there's a sense that the worst has passed. And when it finally does end, France will have to take a hard look at the roots of this crisis. The Republic's grand ideals, liberty, equality and fraternity, have been battered by two weeks of violent clashes exposing a deep racial divide in French society. I think that French people have to realize that France has changed. And I think most of the French people haven't realized this. They haven't realized that you can be French and black and Muslim. That's because for 30 years, the country's immigration policy has expected immigrants to assimilate with the white Catholic majority. New arrivals are encouraged to change their names to sound more French, Islamic headscarves banned in schools. In exchange, immigrants enjoy generous social benefits, but no matter how much they conform, they also experience discrimination. It's hard to find the good jobs, says this man. Your origins and race influence the kind of work you get. Unemployment in the ethnic suburbs around Paris can be as high as 40 percent. We have to renew the way we are thinking about uh, integration. Christophe Bertozzi works for a think tank which studies immigration policy. He believes France should adopt Canada's multicultural model which promotes equal opportunity for minority groups. These you know, colorblind uh, integration policies on which French society has been living uh, over the last 30 years must, must be uh, converted to the recognition of diversity. But the voices here calling for a Canadian-style multicultural society are on the margins. The French Prime Minister has already rejected the idea, focusing instead on giving more money to poor neighbourhoods. If France does change the way it looks at immigration and race, it will be difficult and very slow. Kevin.